Hi everybody, I created my sh small little Corona corner. Behind me is the, um, this is the tablet of uh, Elements. Uh, I just needed a background. I've improvised a mattress. So now I have a sort of something to lean against. Um, so I've changed my uh, uh, broadcasting se uh, center. So try to make yourself comfortable and listen. You can play the game and you can act out the parts, though you know it wasn't written for you. Tell me how can you stand there with your broken heart, ashamed of playing the fool. One thing can lead to another, it doesn't take any sacrifice. Mother and mother, sister and brother, it feels nice, don't think twice. And shower the people you love with love, show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna work out fine if you only will. Do as I say. Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna be much better if you only will. You can run, but you cannot hide. This is widely known, especially now. What you plan to do with your foolish pride when you're by yourself alone. Once you tell somebody the way that you feel, you can feel it beginning to ease. Think it's true what they say about the squeaky wheel Always good in the grease Better do Shower the people you love with love Show them the way that you feel I know things are gonna be just fine If you only will What I'd like to do to you Shower the people you love with love. Show them the way that you feel. Things are gonna be much better if you only will. A long instrumental part so we can talk. Um, so it's a difficult time for everybody. Uh, things can get really out of hand sometimes, but communicate, work on your communication skills, talk to people in a nice way. Shower the people you love with love, show them the way that you feel. Shower the people you love with love, show them the way that you feel. Batch, batch, right away. Don't take much to do. Sell your pride. Eat humble pie, as the British say. So I'm gonna read you from. They say in every life, the rain must fall, and the coronavirus must spread. Sorry, that was a terrible joke. The language of letting go. Today's reading. Afterburn. How could I do it? How could I say it? Even though I, I meant it, I still feel ashamed, guilty, and afraid. This is a common reaction to new exciting recovery behaviors. Anything to do with owning our power and taking care of ourselves can trigger feelings of shame, guilt, and fear. We do not have to allow these feelings to control us. That's better, far away, huh? They're backlash, they're afterburn. Let them burn out. When we start confronting and attacking feelings and messages, we will experience some afterburn. The afterburn is what we allow to control us all our life, shame and guilt. 
Many of us grew up with shame-based messages that it wasn't okay to take care of ourselves. Be honest, be direct, and own our power with people. Many of us grew up with messages that it wasn't okay to be who we were and resolve problems in relationships. Many of us grew up with the message that we want healthy. and need isn't okay. Itself. French fries and beer are vegan. So uh oh, sorry. But seriously, the easy sorry. part. Uh oh, gosh, go I'm losing control time. over the computer. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, many of us grow with shame based messages it wasn't okay to take care of ourselves be honest be direct and own our power with people i'm repeating this because it's important many of us grew up with messages that it wasn't okay to be who we were and resolve problems in relationships many of us grew up with the message that we that what we want and need isn't okay let us let it all burn off we don't have to take afterburn so seriously we don't need the afterburn convince us that we were wrong and don't have the right to take care of ourselves and set boundaries. Do we really have the right to take care of ourselves? Do we really have the right to set boundaries? Do we really have the right to be direct and say what we need to say? You bet we do. So, uh, just the way you say it is important. So, this is the affirmation for today. Please listen to this part, it's important. Today, I will let any afterburn which sets in after I practice a new recovery behavior burn off. I will not take it so seriously. God help me let go of my shame and needless fears about what will happen to me if I really start caring for and loving myself. So don't be afraid. Let fear go. A lot of us are afraid today of what will happen. And think about it. It's something Imagine you have, this is a guided imagery exercise. Open your palm of your hand, see? And this is fear. Imagine fear is a small dinosaur, small dinosaur flying around. I don't know, um, is that a good imagery? Just hold it in your hand, fear, this little demon dinosaur. Hold it in your hand and call it a name. Whatever you're afraid of, coronavirus. People, what people think about me, um, losing a job, having enough money, uh, having enough friends, um, being healthy. That's your fear and just go, just say, go away, go away, fear and open your arm and let it go. Like that. I think that's a good exercise to do uh, at least once a day. Open the palm of your hand. Breathe into the hand, all your fears, close it, close your eyes, and imagine letting go of all the fears. And you know what, and then, this is a more important, imagine a beautiful bird, a beautiful bird with beautiful colored feathers, and call all the things that you want, all the things you need in your life in order to be happy. Um, hope, love. Uh, success in your career, success in your path of life, health for you and your family. Just close that little bird and say, please, bird, please come in my life. Open your hands and let the bird fly away and fill the room where you live with wonderful elements of love, hope, and health. Peace, light, and love from Yogi Mangala. And hoping for you and your family a beautiful day, a beautiful weekend. Shabbat shalom to the Jews. Um, yeah, it doesn't come out right. A, a good Sabbath for everybody, actually. Um, and a good life, good health, and beautiful birds are released into the room where you live.